this tutorial we'll be looking at a simple technique to blur the background and make a person or an object the focal point. So I've got this image here that I've got of, of Flickr, link in the description box below. And uh, first, first we're just going to duplicate the background layer here, so just drag it down to the new layer button there. There you go, we got our background copy. Then we'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And apply something around four pixels there. Just do whatever you feel is right, and make sure you have preview selected so you can have a look at what the effect would be. So let's keep it around there, three point three. That'll be okay. Press OK. Now, obviously, the guy there is blurred, but we'll be fixing that just now. So we will click this button here, which is adding a layer mask. Now, as you can see, a white box has appeared on the layer. That's your layer mask. What happens is whatever is white is visible, whatever is black is invisible. So just make sure we got our foreground color as black here. And then we're just going to go to our brush tool, choose a hard brush, and get around 80 pixels or so, or maybe a bit less. Just zoom in a bit. And then just literally brush him in. Uh, stay away from the edges for now. And just do a rough version quickly. As you can see, he is coming into focus. And let's get his face in there as well. Oh, hello. Okay, now we used a hard brush there, but now we're going to use a soft brush for the edges. And we'll obviously use a bit of a smaller size. Something around 30 pixels will do. And we'll just zoom in now. And kind of just go over the edges. You can choose to do a hard brush all the way around. Uh, I prefer using a bit of a soft brush because it kind of gives it an illusion of blending in as well and it's not too sharp and let's just fast forward this now Okay, and there you have it. Now you notice a couple of bits have kind of gone. I've gone a bit over the edges there. All you have to do is simply switch back to the white color because white makes things visible, and just click your brush in those positions. And I think there's one over here as well. Okay, and there you have it. He's in focus, and the rest of the background is blurred in. Now, if you were to click on the layer thumbnail instead of the layer mask, you can actually adjust the blur and he will stay in focus. So, stuck in preview, and you can actually just play around and adjust the blur as you'd like. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial, and hopefully, I'll see you guys soon.